Hi, I'm Norm Abram, and welcome to another season of the New Yankee Workshop. We've got an interesting collection this time, including this old-fashioned Victorian umbrella stand. And how about a coffee table made from recycled pallet wood? A few years ago, the world of DIY enthusiasts was changed forever, and all the credits go to one and only Norm Abram and his new Yankees workshop. His woodworking projects captured millions of hearts and inspired the new generation to create something truly remarkable. Norm was not just another skilled artist who had a passion for his craft. Besides being a host to the show, he poured his heart and soul into every piece he made out of the wood. His unbeatable skills and infectious creativity made the Yankees workshop an iconic and beloved show worldwide. Everything was fine until the show ended in 2009 and Norm Abram disappeared from the public eyes, leaving several fans questioning where he is now. Is he still an iconic figure in the world of carpentry? Well, let's dive in to find out what really happened to Norm Abram from the new Yankees workshop. And that's to receive these corner blocks. I suppose you could just nail them in place, but by sitting them in a dado, you get a bigger glue surface and just a stronger block. Because this block reinforces the top of the cabinet and gives me a place to fasten the countertop. You must have heard that a locksmith's son becomes a locksmith and a carpenter's son becomes a carpenter. Nobody can guess how true this saying is, but in the case of Norm Abram, it's completely legit. Norm Abram was born in Rhode Island on the 3rd of October, 1949. His father was a carpenter, so he was introduced to this profession at a very early age. It doesn't mean that he was not sent to school, or he was being schooled at home as a carpenter. Norm was admitted to a local high school at Milford. Later, he got admission in the University of Massachusetts to become a mechanical engineer. However, Norm found theoretical subjects boring because he wanted to do something practical. So he switched his academics to business studies. Norm's passion for carpentry turned into the love of his life when he was nine years old. He wanted to become a professional carpenter, but his father wanted him to study. He was very close to his father and always saw a role model in him. So during summer vacations and holidays, when the rest of the kids played, he used to practice carpentry with his father. The duo made many projects together, and the iconic Pinewood Derby car is one of them. In fact, both of them continued working together until one of them departed. After completing his studies, Norm got hired by a multi-million dollar construction firm as a site supervisor. In 1976, he founded the general contracting company Integrated Structures and got his first project of building a store on Nantucket. He operated this company until 1989. After that, his life got a twist and he got an offer to join television. Nobody in his life ever had thought that Norman would be part of the entertainment industry. However, it became a reality when the producer Russell Morash offered Norman a job opportunity that could become a milestone for his career. He asked Norman to join this old house series and later asked him to appear regularly on the show. This opened the gate of success for him. Later in 1989, Norm got another big show, the new Yankee Workshop, which was indeed the biggest project of his life. The first episode of the show was aired on PBS in 1989. Norman was the host of the show and it was focused on woodworking and furniture making in the traditional New England style. Norm was a very skilled artist so his passion and love for woodworking remain evident in every episode. Whether the viewers were skilled woodworkers or just beginners to carpentry, they had something to learn and enjoy. Due to this, the show gathered a huge fan following that kept on growing with every episode. Not only a skilled host and carpenter, Norm was an excellent teacher too. He had a talent for explaining complex techniques and skills in an easy way. So his step-by-step -step demonstration made it possible for everyone to learn and try their hand at woodworking. The most important thing that made the new Yankee Workshop show a hit was the attention to details. People fell in love with Norm's precision, way of measurement and mastery. Most of them tuned in the show just for watching him work as a master carpenter who carefully shapes and sands each piece of wood with care and love. After completing 21 seasons and 300 successful episodes, the new Yankee Workshop came to an end in 2009. However, Norm's other show, This Old House, is still aired on PBS. Besides this, he's been part of The Old House Show since 1979. It's a popular entertainment show which focuses on home improvement and renovation. 
The show is famous for the in-depth coverage of renovations, ranging from small DIY projects to major overhauls in houses. This old house follows a group of professionals who are experts of renovating and restoring old homes and providing techniques that the viewer can use in their own homes. The public loves to watch this show because it educates them about renovating on minor scales themselves and saves them money. Moreover, each episode of the show is focused on different aspects, such as interior design, electrical work, plumbing and painting. So DIY enthusiasts love to binge watch it. And over the years, this old house has gained multi-million fans and inspired many homeowners to start renovation projects without professional assistance. Moreover, the show has spun many other programs. Ask This Old House is one of them, which focuses on the questions that homeowners ask to professionals for getting help in home renovation and DIY projects. Norman wasn't only known for these two popular TV shows. He was featured in several other TV shows, including The Late Show with David Letterman, Oprah, Entertainment Tonight, Today and Good Morning America. However, the old house and the Yankees workshop defined his career very well and became the reason for his huge fan following. Besides being a successful carpenter, Norm was an author too. He wrote several books based on carpentry, including the classics from the new Yankee workshop, Measure Twice, Cut Once and Mostly Shaker from the new Yankee workshop. Not only this, he's the editorial board member of This Old House magazine that's published by This Old House LLC. Moreover, he writes columns of the Norm's trick and trade. Most of the carpenters around us make a bare minimum after putting all their efforts into their crafts, but Norm has earned a handsome amount out of his skill and being active on television. Currently, his net worth is $2.5 million and according to different sources, he charges between $500,000 and $800,000 for a single season of this old house. Though he is lucky enough in his professional life, Norm is not very lucky in his married life. He's been married twice, Laura Cohn was his first wife, but the couple parted in 1996. Nobody exactly knows the reason for their separation, they have a daughter named Lindsay. Two years after his divorce, he married Elise Howenstein. The couple has one child right now. If you're a fan of The Old House or watch the show regularly, you might have felt that Norman's appearance has been declining over the past few years. Do you know what happened to him? Well, there are rumours that Norm had cancer, due to which he experienced sudden weight loss. However, no confirmation of this news has still been made. Norm is not just like any other carpenter who keeps frowning all the time. He's one of the jolliest people in the industry. Some fascinating facts about him have also been revealed to his fans. Norm loves wearing plaid shirts and his wife is a skilled potter. Besides his hosting and skill showcase in his shows, Norm has earned a reputation for his stance against misusing tools or using them without sharpening them. It may sound crazy to a random person like you and me, but for a person who loves these tools and has devoted his life to them, misusing them might be a sin. You'll be amazed to know that Norman is a musician too. Yeah, he loves to play the guitar, banjo and mandolin. He also has a great taste for classic automobiles and has an excellent collection in his garage. Fortunately, Norm's efforts, hard work and love for the craft have not gone unrecognized. The legend has grabbed two awards so far, including the iSmart Distinguished Service Award by the American Academy of Ophthalmology and the Ken Burns Lifetime Achievement Award. Despite being so talented, he's a down-to-earth person who's always been devoted to his craft rather than how much he can make out of it. His fan following is proof of his undeniable legacy. No doubt he's a role model for aspiring carpenters and the entire DIY lovers community.